you're arranging it so that the horse is watching your body language while you're watching the horse's body language and it is the communication between you that gets the response that you want. It's not the equipment that does it. Hi, Dennis here, Capital Training and Shearing, with a recap on part two of a three-part series. This one is bucking horse communication. And in this video, you're gonna see me have clear communication through what I call a conversation with a horse. I'm using the halter and lead rope on this horse to increase the efficiency of my time. And uh, this is a, a, there's a lot going on in this video. And, and I try to do my best to call it step by step as it's happening. So when you're watching this video, realize that uh, things seem to be rolling along pretty rapidly, but I'm watching that horse and I'm reading that horse. And when I see that horse understand the point that I'm making at that moment. I'm not gonna hang there in that point and, and uh, wear him out with that point. See, that makes you boring. <laughs> that makes you, if, if you were talking to somebody and they got stuck on one word and they kept repeating that same word and they kept going over that same word and they kept going over that same word, how long are you gonna to listen to a parrot like that that just keeps repeating the same word? Well, your horse will shut you out as well if you don't start thinking. If you get in the present, if you get in the moment, and you're using your mind, and you're using your thought process, and you're developing a clear mental picture, by the way, that's what these videos are here to help you to do, is develop, to develop your clear mental picture as to what to do as it's happening. You know, your horse isn't going to stand there and just wait for you to, to catch on. You've got to be there. <laughs> and you've got, to, you've got to experience what it's like to be there so that you can be the leader as the activity is taking place. And that's what you're going to see in this video. You're going to see me use uh, a lot of different techniques. But all of them are done in the same way. I'll present my idea to the horse. I'm watching the horse. When I see that the horse understands it, then I'm going to present another idea. This is the development of a conversation. This is real communication as it unfolds with a horse that, when the horse accepts it and, and gains understanding through it, they quit trying to make decisions. That's what gets a horse safe. You see, if a horse thinks that he can just walk off and do whatever he wants, who's in charge? He's in charge. So if that horse is in, in charge and, and you're supposed to be the leader, you've got now <clears throat> two leaders. <laughs> you've got a horse thinking he's in charge and you think you're in charge and now you've got conflict. So the horse needs to somehow learn to lay down their decision-making process, hand that over to you. So we only have one mind making the decisions for two bodies. When we have one mind, then it's a thought you have, it goes through your horse down to his feet, then it, it's just as, it's just as free-flowing as you communicating with your own body. The horse will become your body when you do things in this way. So go back and watch that movie. Be sure and watch all three of these things together. There was uh, nothing edited out between when the, the videos were filmed. We, we, we did it in three sections for, for time's sake, but all three of them together were real time as it happened with this particular horse. So uh, go back and, and rewatch that if you need to stop. You know, there's so much happens in, in these videos that it, it, it would, it, it, it's entertaining to watch. But to learn from it, you're going to probably want to stop it, and back up, or, or watch it several times, uh, you know, to, to see exactly what's going on because if there's, there's a tremendous amount. This one is primarily about how to use your equipment and, and how to set it up so that you don't need the equipment 
for the conversation. It, it ultimately boils down to you arranging it so that the horse is watching your body language while you're watching the horse's body language and it is the communication between you that gets the response that you want. It's not the equipment that does it. So you're going to see how I use the equipment to arrive at that. So hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much.